Hey everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener and it's time to get you updated on my citrus trees that I've grown from seed. Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick update on my citrus trees that I've grown from seed. You'll recall on June 11th, 2017, we started some seeds from both lemons and oranges that were store-bought to see if we can grow them into trees and to see if we can produce some flowers and fruits down the road. Now, these were sown on June 11th, 2017. So today being May 9th, 2021, we're right around the 47 month mark, almost the four year mark. I do wanna make sure everyone knows that I'll be repotting these today because once again, they've outgrown their pots. And even in the last update, I repotted them and it's just time to do it again. Plus, I'm pretty sure the nutrients in the soil have been depleted. Now, on top of that, I wanna remind everyone that these should not be producing any flowers, although it is possible to produce them in less than four years. Typically, it takes more than four years for us to get any flowers and or set fruit. So this year, I really wanna focus again on repotting them, getting them in some good soil and some bigger pots, and hopefully over the next 12 months, we can do all the things right to get these guys to put on some growth and maybe even set some flowers. Let me get the camera turned around and I'll give you a look at all of my lemon and orange trees that I have left. So for today's project, I am gonna be repotting my citrus. Now it has been about 11 months since I last repotted these and my last update was actually 11 months ago. As a quick reminder, we have three trees that were started from orange seeds and two trees left that were started from lemon seeds. Now, the three orange trees that are in the green pots, we're gonna be upgrading their pots to these ones today. And as you can see, as a comparison, definitely a lot bigger. I probably needed to do this sooner, and I had kept all of these citrus inside over the winter, and even though they stayed alive, they really struggled. A lot of the leaves had problems, and when I brought them outside, it took these guys several weeks for them to even start to show signs of new growth. We do have some new growth on them. We are experiencing a little bit of a burst right now. And because of that, I do want to get them in new pots. I'm having to water these every day just to keep them from drying out. These guys are taking way too much water in for the heat out here. And I need to get them into bigger pots so that I don't have to keep watering them every day. Probably going to have to water them every other day. And I'm fine with that. And that will help. Now, I will point out that... We are experiencing, like I said, some newer growth on a lot of the plants, but this orange tree in particular has not done much. It looks even deficient. So I am gonna be using a special formula as far as the potting soil, and I've covered that in previous videos, but I'll touch on it in this one. This guy has really started to pick up and put on some new explosive growth, so I'm happy with that. And I experimented with this guy about two months ago. I added coffee grinds and even some banana peels that I had soaked in water for several weeks just to get it a nice little compost tea. This guy, same thing, starting to come back really nicely as you can see. And I know the lighting is not the best, but it was almost 90 degrees today and I wanted to wait for the sun to go down before I came out here and repotted them. But I am starting to see some growth and I don't like to technically repot them while they are starting to grow again. But at the end of the day, I gotta get these guys in new pots. This lemon tree right here, even though it's the same age as this one, was the one that died all the way down to the central leader uh, years ago, maybe a couple years ago. Matter of fact, I have a spot here where I chopped them down and here where I chopped them down. He had almost all but died and had a little bit of green left. He is really struggling, but he's finally showing some comeback here and that's exciting. As far as the height, this is probably the largest one and he's standing right around four feet, maybe five feet in the pot. But if I were to take him out of the pot, put him in the ground, he'd be about four feet. So I'm pretty excited about the growth on these guys overall. Happy that they didn't die over the winter. Happy that we were able to keep them alive in the grow room and happy that we're getting some new growth on most of them, except for this one. He did start to do something and then went backwards again as far as deficiency it looks like. So I think it's just time to get them out of these pots, put them into new pots, and find a different part of the yard to keep them in. Now, I'm not a big fan of using potting mix that's already packaged, especially stuff that already has fertilizer in it, but like I said, my citrus are not doing that well. So I picked up a eight quart bag for each of my pots. We are going to add this 
along with some regular potting soil to each of these pots and put those guys in there after we've mixed it around. I will be adding a little bit of sand as well and I also will be giving them a heavy watering, letting it all drain out, making sure that there's no air pockets and or dry spots in the soil. For sake of time, I'm not gonna show all of this right now, but what I will do is if I pull out any of these and notice that they're pretty root brown, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, I'll skip fast forward to when I have them all repotted just so I can get busy and get these guys in a new pots and get them all watered. I will show them when they're in their new homes and I will have them color coded once again. The orange trees will be in the black pots and the lemon trees will be in the green pots. All right, let me get them repotted and I'll bring you guys back in for another look. Figured I'd give a quick little shot of one of the orange trees, not quite root bound, but definitely was ready to come out of that pot. So we'll break up those roots a little bit and uh, get them in the pot. All right, I have got all of the citrus trees repotted and I will say in advance that I went ahead and inspected all the leaves for any pests and although I didn't see any I thought it'd be a good idea to rinse them both the top side and the undersides obviously we saw things like uh, spider webs and stuff like that but nothing too concerning we've got them in their citrus soil which is 50% citrus soil and 50% regular potting mix obviously citrus trees love moisture retaining yet well draining soil so this citrus soil should at least be able to hold the water a little bit longer allowing the root system of the citrus tree to absorb it, but also not keep it so saturated that the tree is drowning and prone to root rot. So it'll fastly drain out a lot, but the cocoa choir and all that stuff that's in there, the perlite will hold the water and allow it to drink as needed. I'm really excited to get them in the bigger pots, mainly because now my watering regime will be at least cut in half every other day. And as we get into the 100 degree Texas summers, it might be every every day again for a little bit, but I'll deal with that. Typically right about now, I would prune off any of the less healthy leaves. The problem is they don't have a lot of new growth and green leaves on them. So I wanna allow them another couple of weeks to acclimate to the pots. And then once that occurs, I will give them a nice pruning. Either way, they're definitely gonna do a lot better now in these new pots. There might be a slight stunt of growth as they acclimate, but we'll have to see. I'll also mention that on this lemon tree, even though it's exhibiting some new growth, the root system was really weak and I had to actually hose off, and I should have got it on film, but I hosed off the root system because there was some white mites in the old potting soil, which I dumped into the trash can and started fresh. That should help this plant a lot. You can see that it has a deficiency probably because of the lack of the root system not being able to absorb the nutrients from the soil. Hopefully what I've done will help it. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a good look. We got them repotted, 47 months old. I'll give you another update here in another couple of months, maybe a month, if we see some good progress. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for my citrus tree update, guys. Again, I know there's not a lot to show, but we got them repotted. They are starting to show some new growth. I'm super excited to see what this next six months holds for them during the growing season here in Texas. And of course, I will keep you guys updated as best I can on their progress, especially now that we've got them in bigger pots. And I'm curious to see how they do over the next month or two. If you enjoyed the citrus tree grown from seed update, month 47, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy gardening and thanks for watching. By the way, if you're not following my peach tree grown from seed series, you should check it out because uh, this one is loaded with peaches this year.